everybody, it's your girl Mimi of Mimi's Mocha Treats. And today I'm going to show you how I created this slab of ribs from Rice Krispie Treats and modeling chocolate. So sit back, grab a napkin, and let's get to work. Okay, so this was a really fun design for sure, especially since I get super excited when I am able to recreate hyper-realistic cakes using sweets. Now, our client wanted to create a super fun cake for her boyfriend's semi-surprise birthday party, and she wanted to create a beer mug for the party. So we took things a little further and worked on some ideas, and we decided to honor not only his love for his hometown football team, the Minnesota Vikings, but also his love for ribs. To create the ribs, I used five individual packs of Rice Krispie Treats and squished them together to create the rib base. Once I was satisfied with the overall shape, I pulled out some modeling chocolate and covered the treats while, you know, hand sculpting the chocolate into the shape I desired. Okay, so the next step was creating the bones, which you will see me doing here. Now, it has been a while since I have dived into a meaty rib. And as I was making this, I am not gonna even lie, I thought about heading over to my nearest rib joint and getting a few for myself. <laughs> Cause you know, barbecue ribs remind me of my childhood. It seems like every outdoor gathering we had included a good saucy slab of ribs with smoked sausages and corn on the cob. Oh, child, yes, those were definitely the good old days. But I gave them up a long time ago. But every once in a blue moon, especially if I see someone else enjoying them, or if I drive by someplace that is smoking them, I get a strong craving and all those memories pop up into my head again. Okay, here you will see me adding some small details to the ribs. Using my sugar shapers, I deepened the grooves between each setting, and then I added some additional modeling chocolate here and there to show the pieces of meat that, you know, kind of sort of stick up. I also added a layer of chocolate to represent that thick slab of, I mean, I don't know what you call it, but it always sits at the top of the meat. Uh, if anybody can tell me what that is, please leave a comment and let me know. Um, and then I used my brush scraper tool to create the texture of the meat.
All shucks now, it is time to bring this slab of ribs to life. Now I use my edible paints by Karen Portaleo and let me tell you this, I love these paints. They remind me of acrylic paints you use for non-edible art and the colors are crazy pigmented. The sets, there are two of them, come with fast and slow drying diluters. Now I'm still trying to learn how to use them properly, but in the meantime, I swear by my vanilla or mango extracts. Once I was satisfied with the color of these ribs, I then used an edible lacquer to bring a shiny surface to them. Listen, I am not even gonna lie. The more color I added and the more realistic it started looking, the more my mouth started salivating. I was like, get in my belly now. Oh my gosh. I really wish I could just take one for the team and just get me a couple of ribs right now. I decided to add a few highlights to the color, you know, just to add some dimension and realism. I also took some piping gel and added some to the higher areas just to add a little bit more juiciness to the final product. And listen, baby, the bones were boning. I am really, really happy with the overall look that I was able to create using these paints by Karen Portaleo. And I'm telling you, the realism just, uh, I was super proud of myself, guys. Like, I was like, yes, you did this, girl. <laughs> and then I also took some darker colors and added them around the bones and to the high points, you know, just to give the illusion of that nice caramelized grill burn you know what i'm saying you know those are like the best parts of ribs oh my gosh i may have to take one for the team i'm telling y'all i may have to just say you know what risk it all and just go get me a slab of ribs my mouth is actually salivating right now Okay, we are nearing the end of this semi-tutorial and it would not be complete without a nod to one of my favorite movies from back in the days. If you know what movie this is honoring, comment the name in the comments below and show your age for everyone to see. May I help you, sir? How much for order of ribs? Uh, 250. 250? How many ribs do I get with that? Uh, about five. So I guess that's about 50 cents a rib, huh? 
Yeah, about. Let me get one. Right on. One order. One order ribs. Now, I hope you enjoyed watching me work. And if you are interested in classes to learn how to create hyper-realistic cakes, make sure to comment below or follow me on Instagram where I will be listing updates and class listings. As always, thank you for watching and have an amazingly sweet day.